Okay, I am not going to spend too much time on this article, but I have a question for the African females that come from the continent of Africa. I find it interesting that you guys here, you're so quick to judge the so-called black Americans. But my question to you is, how do you expect your own men to find you attractive, to respect you, to find you beautiful when you can't even find beauty in yourself. Now I find it interesting that you have a lot of Africans that come from the continent and they love to correct the so-called black Americans when we say Africa. And then they say, well, Africa is made up of so many countries. There's so many countries in Africa. And when you go to Africa, you know, uh, it's black people. Everywhere you go, it's black people. And um, go home. But yet, you don't even love yourself enough to vote a woman that looked like your mother as a 2023 Miss Universe Zimbabwe why? A white woman now is representing Zimbabwe universally, <laughs> right? So I find that to be quite odd. Now, this is an article, and I'm going to put the link on the bottom, and you guys can read it in its entirety for yourself. But there's a lot of so-called black women or melanated women that's upset about this. You don't even love yourself. So how do you expect your own men to love and appreciate your beauty, your natural beauty? You know that black girl magic? When you don't even love yourself. The title says, my ancestors rolling in their graves. White woman wins 2023rd Miss Universe Zimbabwe over melanated candidates. And then it says Zimbabwe will be among the countries represented at the 2023 Miss Universe pageant on November 18th after selecting its first crown beauty in 22 years. So in 22 years, out of all the millions of melanated women that's in Africa, out of all the melanated women that's in Zimbabwe, you selected a white woman to represent you? You put a white woman ahead of you? See, that right there, it explains why you find so many from the continent love to use skin lightening cream. They wear hair that is not their own. That's white women's hair. The so-called black women envy the white woman. They even envy the white woman's man to the point where they will put their foot on the neck of their own men just to uplift the white woman's man. So now white women have to compete for their men because the so-called melanated women are not content with their own. They find every fault in their own men, but yet ignore the faults of the white man. So it says, the African country's return to the competition is an exciting feat. But not everyone is pleased with the woman chosen as the nation's representative for the global stage. Brooke Brooke Jackson, a white woman, was crowned Miss Universe Zimbabwe 2023 on September 16th. She is a native of Harare, the country's capital. The 21-year-old models runner-up were black women 
So black women were last. You were a runner up in your own country. Amanda and, and I'm not gonna try to, I'm gonna butcher that, so I'm not even gonna try to attempt to say that. Mumfu, right? So, and this is the woman right here. I've seen some beautiful women, some beautiful melanated women in Zimbabwe. But apparently, Zimbabwe women don't find themselves to be beautiful. Your men don't find you to be beautiful. And you love to come to America and speak down on black men. You never speak on the men of your own country. The one that's chasing you into the arms of white men, you come and speak on American black men. And I'm gonna end it right here. I'm gonna end it right here. It says, after her win, she wrote on Instagram, I have gained this crown for our beautiful country. Look at the language. Now, you won't find this in China. In Asia, they're gonna prop their own women up. The only time you will see a melanated woman in Asia is if she's part Asian. Okay, so in Asia, you won't go there and find a black woman or even a white woman that's crowned to represent that nation. You're gonna find a woman that represents her own nation, the nation of her ancestors. So it says, after her win, this white woman, she wrote on Instagram, I have gained this crown for our beautiful country, our beautiful country, to love and to serve our people, to represent Zimbabwe internationally, and to show the world the uniqueness of Zimbabwe and Zimbabweans. So now she's representing an African country that Africans love to brag about. So how can you expect your own men to love and appreciate you when you can't even love and appreciate yourself. So I'm gonna put the link to this article on the bottom and you can read it in its entirety for yourself. Share this article, share this video. But it's sad. It's sad that you have so many that come from the continent that's always telling the so-called black Americans to go home but yet you're not even proud of your own self. You're not, you're not happy in the skin that you're in. You're trying to claim the skin of your oppressors. And see, that could have a lot to do with why Africa is allowing European nations and other nations to come in and run their country when they don't have control or power over their own nation. They don't. France had just moved out. Russia and China is moving in. So Africa can't stand on its own with its own people because of the level of corruption on the continent. So I find that to be quite interesting that they allow a white woman to represent them globally. So feedback, tell me what you think. Subscribe, click on the Cash App, support this channel. Until next time, I'm fearless.